Welcome back to our channel. This is Draw Chronicles. We bring all issues about real estate and law. And today I'm going to expose you to drilling of borehole. What is one of the most essential things we have on earth? And even to build your apartment, your homes, you need water to do that. But today I want you to experience how borehole is done, the cost that comes with it, and the processes, the advice that I'm expert to provide to you. We have our brother who will take us through this process. Please stick and take and subscribe to our channel. This is Draw Chronicles. Uh, please, so let's get to know you. I'm Engineer Richmond Emmanuel Butui okay. from Prince Malaika, Ghana Limited. Prince Malaika, Ghana, Ghana Limited. Limited. We deal in borehole drilling and mechanization. Okay. And then civil works, that's mainly commercial buildings and then individual domestic buildings. And then uh, industrial buildings as well. So today here you are drilling a borehole? Yes, today we are in a, drill, a borehole drilling site. Yeah, we realize that the house is already built before the borehole is going on. Is it the, the very best process? I would say not the best anyway. But okay. this is what the client uh, is having. Okay. Because I, why I said it's not the best is when you are building the uh, project, you need water to do stuff. Yes. That's building, uh, mixing concrete, mortar and other stuff. Now, you are going to pay money for buying, uh, doing water. all those things. Yeah. But at the end of it all, you come back to come and drill borehole at a very exorbitant cost, a small amount of cost. <laughs> but yeah. um, I want to talk of um, special economy, that's developing or planning your space, which is the land. The best thing to do is to drill a borehole first. Then you develop your space, which is where to put building, where to put toilet, where to put your septic tank, and then other stuffs. Then where your fence wall will pass and other things, where you'll be parking your cars, and all those things will be built or planned around it. So it is best to do it first before you, you, you build or construct your building. And that one will bring down the cost of the building and then uh, planning the space you have. Okay. We heard people complain that they, they pay for boreholes and after a month or two or three, you know, there is no water for the pump to bring out water. What is the reason? Yeah, we call something uh, siting in borehole uh, planning. First of all, you need to look for the water beneath the earth. Okay. That's it's a, a specialized machine that you use for that. Uh, we call it a uh, resistivity, uh, radioactive resistivity. Okay. So we use that to look for water beneath the earth. Now, when you, you do that first by geologist, and then you follow up to drill, that will give you the uh, fractures of the various levels of uh, layers of stones and other things before you begin to drill. And then where the uh, uh, aquifer is located, that machine will give you all those things. So now, when you have those data by yourself, then you go into drill. And if you don't have those things, and you go and drill, you get a, a, a quantity of water, you think you have hit the aquifer, that in no time, the well can dry up because it is not sitting on the reservoir. What is the exact you know, measurement for? You to hit the aquifer. No, that one depends on where God has kept it. It's okay. a secret. That is why you must also use your uh, scientific methods to locate it and then heat it and then get the water gushing out of the belly of the uh, uh, the earth. And then you have a good water to drink forever and ever. The so, only thing you do from time to time is to clean the borehole by um, airlifting the borehole, the depths and uh, depths that are accumulated beneath it, then you airlift it out. Okay. As, uh, if I should have this borehole drill right now, am I supposed to go to Ghana Water for some certification or checks of the water quality? No, it is not mandatory. Okay. But if you want to use it for commercial purposes, you need to go to CSRI and then Ghana Water for certification. They will test the water and give you authenticity of its, uh, 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 let me say, wholesomeness of it to, for consumption. Okay. Then you send it to FDA and then Ghana Standard Authority, Authority. for them to again certify it. Then they will give you a number or a, a stamp to be embossed on your product. Uh -huh. So by so doing, 
you, you have that certificate to even export your water, drink it anyhow you want it. One, when you, you, you want to do that, they will tell you the processes you pass through in developing or coming to that stage. Because raw water from the, uh, beneath the earth is not the best. You need to take it through, we call something reverse osmosis. So okay. It's equi an equipment that distills the water and then make it wholesome hygienic for consumption it takes out every impurity bacteria and everything that will be harmful to human consumption out of it and then keep the correct one then the uh, water becomes uh, a mineral that mineral water that we've been saying mm. which did, is good for consumption did you ever um, you know drill a borehole and the water is not safe for consumption yes. what chemicals did you find in there uh, um, iron zinc and other uh, hardness of even the water okay uh, carbonate and all those things sulfate and other chemicals you can be found in the water and then there are methods or ways to treat those various chemicals or uh, acid or um, metals that you find in water are there some areas in ghana that are prone to yes. these metals Part of Gan, uh, part of uh, Volta region, okay. part of Accra, Oyarefa areas, zinc is there, and then mostly Upper West, Upper West and part of uh, Upper East, and they, they are prone to zinc oxide. We heard that most people that sees to this borehole business are agents. Some of them have little knowledge about the extraction of the water, the drilling, and all those things. How true is that? Oh, it's true because, um, for instance, if I, sh I may, uh, what I'm saying now, somebody may think it's easy to catch on and then use it to be telling people, people. that this is what is done. But the intricacies in it, I will not teach you okay. unless you follow me and then uh, you learn the work on uh, on the ground, uh -huh. so that you know. Okay, if I see this, this is what it means. If I notice this, this is what I should do. So you, you, you go about it, it's a business. Uh -huh. It's a business you need to learn and learn well. So you, uh, you, that's we what saw the is. suns from different, different layers. Yeah. Was that informing you that you are getting closer to yes, the water? Yes, of course. And even the sound of the uh, drilling machine. Okay. When it's going to hit the aquifer, the sound changes. It's not consistent with this. It will go high. And then when you are getting close to the water, it becomes lower. And then when I'm going, I'll be seeing the fillets. We call it fillets. Fillets. What, what, uh, how the, my, uh, the drilling machine is bringing out the water. The, 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 no, the, um, the sun. Okay, the small tell me that, okay, this is where I'm getting to. This is where I'm, I'm a bit closer. Uh, this is a place wet. I can get water here. I can get water here. I will not get it here. So, those are the things. How long have you been doing the business? Oh, about 10 years now. Good. What is the cost, averagely? What is the cost of getting a it borehole in our home? It's from uh, 18,000 to 20,000. People take 22,000, depending on the type of machine the, own, uh, the client requests for. Uh -huh. the, the, the submersible pump comes with a cost. Okay. Ground force is the highest one, 1.5 horsepower is around 10,000 only the pump okay and then uh, Pedrolo is around 5,500 only the pump and then you come down so you get it to 1,000 cities 700 cities so if somebody tells you I'm going to give you a borehole of 18,000 16,000 remember your submersible pump will not be the 2,000 types but maybe the 800 or 1,000 cities one that will get you to six months but those who will get you, will tell you 2,000, uh, 20,000, maybe be giving you a good or durable submersible pump that will take you for a long time, five years and above. I can, I can bet my life on that. So please, there are talentans in the system who doesn't know what they are doing, but to cash on the ignorance of our dear brothers and sisters as clients, and we are telling you the right thing to be done. So this borehole that has been doing, can it be able to take care of this entire household? Of course, it can. It can take care of this, let's say, three households, okay. not one household together, put together. 
So the 18,000, 20,000 you're mentioning is part of the mechanization is part yes, of it. Do you get poly tanks also? No, no, no. Poly tank is not part of it. And is poly tank very necessary for me to have in life? Yes, of course, because you can't depend on the the direct pumping of the uh, submersible pump. It may burn. Okay. Uh -huh. When the water gets finished on it, it pumps continuously for six hours. When uh, the water uh, recovery of the water is not up to that six hours it means you are burning your pump beneath the earth and then you are going to replace it replacing it so we we, we normally advise that you pump the water into a receptacle which is a polytank and then later you use it for your consumption in the house would you advise that people come together to get a single borehole for their locality yes that's a very good idea that's a very good scenario but <laughs> it is a, a, a suicider in, a, in, a, in itself. What we will advise is to contribute to each other. Let me say three of us here, we contribute to you. Then we build, uh, we drill for you, but we will be using it alongside with you. Okay. Then you contribute and do for the next person. So then everybody is satisfied. Everybody is satisfied. So within a year to two, everybody gets satisfied along Correct. the way. The reason being that you may be doing your brotherly thing, but your children may not. Okay. So it's not advisable. One may grow up one day and be mad. It's, this thing is in our house. It, belong, it, be, it belongs to my father. He doesn't know the, the, the history behind the borehole. Then it becomes trouble. So it is not advisable. Me to me, that is my opinion anyway. It's, it's the cost of the borehole, uh, distance. Does distance, distance influence the cost yes, of it? Yes, it affects it because, for instance, if I'm to be... You, you are hiring me from Accra, um, let's say who here, to let's say Bando or Kofuribia. Tamale, Kofuribia and so forth. Uh, the cost will be different, yes, depending on the distance because we use fuel in doing our rounds and other things. Yeah. Why should somebody come to you, mm -hmm. not some other person? Okay. Well, the reason being that I've, I've educated you enough the gist of the business have uh, elaborated them to you. And I think uh, the pudding is in the eating. <laughs> and for that cause, you have a right person who you can call on or fall on for your borehole. And you have no problem at all. But the, the, uh, the, one thing is, the caveat I'll put on here is, the earth is for the Lord. Okay. And beneath the earth is also for the Lord. We may have all the scientific measures and everything, but we may fail. But that doesn't mean we should we, sh we should have 100% failure. That as that can never be a uh, countenance in our business. You may have 5%, 3% failure. Yes, that one is is allowable. So uh, we are human being. We are not God. So those are. Little, little things we should I think I think mind. it makes sense. Yes. Do you provide uh, servicing? You know, there to service the pump for people. That, of that course, service. we do those things as well. We we go into servicing. How much? Is, how much does that cost? Uh, it depends on your uh, problem that okay. we come to see. Uh -huh. We will bring out the pump. We can resurface your pump. Maybe if the pump is no no more working, it is weak. Maybe it, it has been there for long. We we can re. Yeah, oil it, change every oil in it, and then it becomes workable again for you. Okay, which one? Give your contact details to people. Okay, to contact this is Prince Malika Ghana Limited, uh, a company that is very good in everything they do, by the grace of God, not by our might. Uh, our contact number is 0243 287387 and Zero two zero three two eight four five zero two, and um, you can contact us, and you will be assured of your money. We will protect it for you by giving you the, the cost benefit of what you have paid for. Thank you. Right. So you know who, who to contact for your borehole businesses anywhere. He serves across the nation from the Volta region, Greater Accra, Eastern region. Wherever you find yourself, you're sure to have Prince Malaika to come through to give you the very best of the service. His contact details are going to be in our description below. 
contact him for more details. Please, this is Draw Chronicles. Subscribe to our channel and we love you.